Hi guys, Mama Mita here, and today I have a video for you called Potty Time. Oh boy. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> boy. Okay, so this is the Princess Prius, and we are on vacation. We are almost to Chicago, and so I thought I would show you about how I am able to use the bathroom at night without getting out of the, the car, because I don't want to be doing that. You know, I don't hear well. I have hearing uh, impairment issues, and so I don't want to be out and someone walk behind me or something. So I, once I get in my car at night and I put my windshields up and stuff, my covers up on the, uh, the windows, I do not go outside the car. So let me show you this. So as you can see, I have uh, plenty of room here. And let me take this, uh, move this to the side. This is my whole setup here now. So you can see there that this box here that I've got, it is from Walmart and it's about $10 and I keep my uh, pee bottle in here and I keep my funnel there, okay? And then I have a, what they call um, good night for down here in the floorboard area. And then I have an extra bottle if I need it. And then I have the actual uh, poop bottle if, or poop, uh, yeah, poop container that if I, you need it. But I, you know, that's not me. I, I'm pretty much got my own system going. So um, anyway, I had a little accident with um, that bottle of uh, windshield wiper uh, fluid. It, it spilt on the floor. I can't believe that. But the good thing was, is that I had this uh, paper pad down that catches everything. Now. When you look at this here, I have a, a cover in the daytime, and then, you know, just because I'm around uh, uh, different places and stuff. But underneath that, I have another one of those pads. And actually, I have a bath mat, and then that at that point, it's down to another cover there, just to protect the seat. Because when I want to resell this car, I want to resell it and get good value. I don't want the car trash because I use it as car camping also, you know what I mean? Okay, so let's get in and let's talk potty time. Okay, so here we go. Let me show you this setup here now. So at night, when I'm sleeping in my bed, I'm able to flip over and land where I'm at now. So I am ready to use the bathroom at that point. And, and at, at night when it's really cold, it seems like you, uh, if it's cold outside, like, you know, uh, 12 degrees or 18 degrees, it seems like you have to go to the bathroom more often. I don't know what it is about the cold, but boy, it just, it just gets to you. Okay, so at that point, I'm over here in my seat, okay, and then... What I do is I have uh, my funnel. I take my funnel out. There's my funnel now. And there's my bottle. Okay, I use an REI bottle because I've found that this bottle has worked for me. I used it for my bike tours and it worked great. It was it was small enough and compact enough that I could put it in the back uh, bag of the bike and stuff. And so that works for me pretty good. And what I do is I have this uh, with the funnel. I have it, you notice that I have it in the back. Okay, so I open the back and I make sure, I'm trying to situate this camera where you can see everything. Well, I don't know if that's gonna work. Okay, so I put the, the bag, I open it where it's flat, it lays down flat like that. So once I finish peeing, then I can just put this funnel right back in here and any like little pee drop stuff will uh, fall on the napkins and stuff. And then in the morning, that I'll tell you in a few minutes what I do with that. Okay, so now, okay, so I'm ready at that point. So I'm over here in my chair and uh, then I take my top off and I take my funnel and I stick it in there like that and I, and I just hold the bottom because the funnel pretty much stays down in there. And what I do at that point is I stand up, okay? Okay. I stand up, let me see if you can see that, that I'm standing up, oh boy. <laughs> okay, at this point, I'm standing up, okay? Now, I take my right leg and I put it over here in the seat like that. Okay. I don't know if you can see that or not. <laughs> oh boy. It's kind of hard to position this. Let me see if I can move these keys and scarf the back of me. Okay. All right. So now at that point, hopefully that's 
recording right yeah okay I take the funnel I open the bottle okay and I put the funnel in and then I position that funnel I'm not gonna open the bottle because it's too hard for you holding the camera too at that point I'm standing up on one leg Oop, there goes the scarf again hold on just a second oh my goodness Okay, so at that point, I take the funnel with the bottle and I put it on like that and I just go ahead and pee right straight into the bottle. And then I take the funnel, okay, see like that, right, just like that. Okay, with the bottle at the bottom, okay. Now I take that at that point, see, and nothing's gonna drop. And if it does drop, it's gonna drop on that, that pad, that good night pad. And then I take it, I put it back. I put my funnel back in the bag. I put the funnel back in the bag, okay? Then I take, and I have the cap back on the bottom also. I usually uh, put the funnel, lay the funnel in the bag, and then I'm still holding the bottle, and I put the top on the bottle. Now, at that point, I'm trying to move everything around here. Okay, at that point, See that bottle there? Look, I mean, this a bucket. Look how big that bucket is. That's like ten dollars at Walmart. Okay, I put my bucket, my bucket, my pee bottle back inside there. Then I put my funnel here. Now, if I was to have two bottles of pee, which if it was cold inside, outside, I've been drinking a lot of liquid. Well, then yeah, I might have two bottles of pee. Then I would take and my funnel with the bag and I would put it down on the floor like in that area and then I would take my other pee bottle and I would put it there that would be the second bottle okay so those are secure they are not going to be like rolling around the floor until I'm able to um, empty them and clean them and stuff I clean mine daily Usually what I do is I take them, uh, when I go inside um, the Planet Fitness, I take my bottles with me and my funnel, I clean them in the shower and stuff, put them, dry them off and put them back in the bottle, come back out and put them back. But you could also, if you were sleeping like at the Pilot or at uh, uh, Flying J, you could just take the, the bottle, because the bottles look, I mean, like they, you can't see if that's pee or not. You don't know that right now, that's just soapy water. But you can't see if that's pee or not. Mild shock. And you just walk in and go in there in the bathroom and clean it up, you know, and bring it back out and put it back in. Okay, so now let's talk about this. So now, I've never had to, uh, to poop before in the car. That's, you know, I've been lucky enough not to have that issue. But this is what I would use as an emergency. I would use, I have a little row of uh, these little garbage bags. You can get them at Walmart, they're pretty cheap. Okay, so and at yeah. that point, okay, here's your, your little poop uh, bucket, okay? So now, you're gonna just line that with a rubber band so it doesn't slip, and you would poop in that, okay? There's your poop, okay, so the poop went in, okay? All right, so now at that point, you would take the rubber band off carefully. You can actually even buy some gloves if you want, those little um, cheap gloves and stuff. Okay, so now you cover that up, you bring it up, just like if you was taking your dog to the potty. I mean, goodness, you know, I've been a caregiver for over 15 years. And for me, this stuff is, you know, it's like second nature. Like you don't even worry about it, you know, just do it. Okay, so you see how that is there? Okay, so the poop is in here. Corbella 
and you can, um, you know, you can, uh, the sporting type, and you can buy those little fancy gadgets. Okay, guys, so now I'm in my bed at night, so I just wanted to give you a little demo of this. Okay, I'm in my bed at night, and I have to go to the bathroom, okay? So at this point, and, and there's not all that stuff down there anyway, it's just because I'm getting ready to travel now, so it's there in that position, but at night, it's in, uh, uh, up in the front part. Okay, so I'm getting ready. So what I do at this point, I lift my legs up, I put them over into the chair like that, and I come down. Hey, how about that? <laughs> I'm 67 years old this May. And guess what? I weigh 195 pounds. And I I did that. <laughs> oh, that is the joke. <laughs> I'm telling you, this is funny. Okay, so now I want to just uh, share with you guys this last thing. I think, uh, hopefully I covered this. Okay, so this bottle here, I picked it up at Target. It was uh, on a discount clearance thing. And it's 48 ounces, and I think it'll be just perfect because my husband and I, we like to travel to Portland, um, and sometimes there's not a bathrooms available because, you know, McDonald's has had uh, problems and stuff, and so half the time they're short on the staff, and so you can't get into the McDonald's or the Wendy's or, what, or some of these uh, restaurants where you, that were fast food and you can pop right in. Well, that's getting kind of hard now. And then we have uh, issues with our restrooms uh, going from Seattle down to Portland too. A couple of them were being worked on and then they had some uh, homeless issues. So you run into trouble and stuff. Well, I can pop my shoes up in the uh, car window and you know, you don't see nothing. And, and I thought I would, that's a nice gift from my husband, don't you think? <laughs> now. That's a very pretty point. The good thing about this bottle is that, you know, it's 48 ounces, so you could get probably three peas out of this thing, and the bot, bot, that should work great. And it's got a wide lid, too, you know, where you guys can, our oh, women, too, you stick the funnel in, or you stick your stick in, but guys, and there you go, let it flow. <laughs> you guys, I mean, I can say that easy because you know what? I used to have a care home and I took care of it, the challenge. And we traveled everywhere. We went to Mexico. We went to um, New Orleans. I mean, wherever we wanted to go, we went. And you got to be ready. And that's why that bag that says Ready, Set, Shop, I changed the name to Ready, Set, Go. Because <laughs> you do have to be Ready, Set, Go. <laughs> you never know when you got to go. And... <laughs> You put everything in your little bag, and so when it's time to, to go to the bathroom, you're ready. <laughs> okay, well, I think that pretty much covers everything on the, uh, the potty time. <laughs> 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 Always had that ready, set, go bag ready just in case. You never know when you might need to go. <laughs> hey guys, if you enjoyed this video today and it helped you a lot, please give me a thumbs up. And you know what? If you haven't subscribed yet, you should really get on board and subscribe because there's more ventures down the line. Just because when I get home in about another 12 days, I'm going to be still going out and doing crazy things. <laughs> you guys, thank you so much. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Have a great day. Bye now.